Hey guys, how are you doing today? I am live today both in YouTube and in Instagram. Just um, wondering how was your trading day today, if you traded at all. I had a fine day. How's yours? Did you do well today? Thank you for joining. It is a Friday and we try to do that every Friday. So I'm here for Q&A every Friday. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer. We're doing that both today in YouTube and in Instagram. Uh, although it looks like the video on Instagram is looking much, much better for some reason. Um, in YouTube, it's not doing that great. I think I know why. Okay, it should be improving now in YouTube. So, had a fun week. Traded um, five days this week. Had uh, four winning days, one losing day. So a nice, profitable week. Didn't trade much today, but I have today say that yesterday I traded way too much, was way over trading yesterday. Again, thank you for joining. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer anything that is trading related or not trading related. If you have problem with the wife, with the girlfriend, Let's talk about everything. So how about any questions now? How much did I make today? Well, trading session is not over yet. I still have uh, an open trade, just one open trade. But I'm up like $2,200 right now. How many students accounts? We don't sell students accounts, we sell student programs. So you cannot uh, buy an account, you can definitely buy a, an educational program. And um, we do limit that, I believe, to two programs, maybe three. It depends on, on some variations, but you can try and get um, I don't think we, we sell more than two, but I'm not sure you have to talk to your account manager. There's no sense in returning to the same education over and over again, although we will come out with something new soon. Uh, which setup uh, investment 711? Um, you're talking about my screen setup? like the one you're seeing here yeah i can talk about that i can talk about that so i don't know if you see much but right here on that side no you don't see that let me turn that a little bit so the blank white that you're seeing here is really the youtube channel that we're seeing right over here and uh right down here is our live trading room. So it's a live trading room. That's where I answer questions, trade, post my trades every day. That's a YouTube channel. A lot of questions, a lot of picks are coming from there. And then very important two charts. As you can see, this, this screen here is mostly for just two charts. That would be the S&P 500 right over here. That is a NASDAQ. So I'm watching the S&P and the NASDAQ usually approximately three days back on five minute candles. And it is very, very important for me because I need to look at support resistance at the market, S&P 500 mainly, but NASDAQ help also. And here's a lot of stocks that I'm just following. So pre-market, I post a lot of stocks here and I'm following them. That's my top 20, where is it? 
Yeah, right here. That's my top 20. My P&L is posted right over here. Um, some watch list, more stocks I'm following. And right over here is four important charts where I'm trading for. So there's two level two and the time and sale, four uh, and, and two charts which are related to that. And another two charts and another two level two and two, uh, Q and two um, level two and uh, time and sale. So that is uh, something I'm, I'm, I'm that's, my, that's my setup, my, my standard setup. I think that we have an issue with YouTube. Let me restart that again. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see. Just bear with me for a second here while I try to restart things in YouTube. If you have any more questions, you can ask. Again, trying to go live in YouTube once more, sorry for that. <laughs> it's funny, it says smile for the thumbnail, but I don't think I smile. Okay, let's see, once more, making another try in YouTube. Okay, so I see you have more uh, questions. Uh, so I answered about the setup. Now, setup is very, very important uh, for me, for every trader. Uh, it's something that you get used to. It's different between trader to trader, but mainly I just follow a lot of charts and uh, I have my four um, main charts that I'm watching and trading. Any more questions coming up? Let's see. Where can you add to a trade that you lost? Uh, a revenge trade, uh, it's a good point. You know, um, uh, basically you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't add to a trade that you're losing uh, unless you originally planned that. I had a trade like that today. I had a trade today where I was adding. And uh, let, let me explain to that. If originally the trade that you're taking is a trade that you plan on adding as it comes down. For example, you go long a trade. I had that today with CGC. That was my only loser today. So I had uh, uh, winners um, so far, three winners. Hopefully the third one's going to be a fourth winner. So I had three winners, one loser. And the loser was in CGC, but I was planning to add as it comes down because it moved to a new high. I was waiting for a pullback and I was planning to add as it comes down. So the thing with, uh, with CGC is that it was originally planned to be that way. The fact that it was a loser doesn't matter. If you are taking a trade and you're losing, never add. Never add to a losing trade. You should never add to a losing trade. Adding to a losing trade is, is, is usually uh, a, very, uh, a, a very clear way, a very, um, it, it's the best way to wipe up your account. So never add to a losing trade, uh, never try to revenge a trade. Today, for example, I can give you another example. Uh, Scott here in the trading room, he took uh, CGC long. And um, after I had a loser in CGC, so that's my only loser today, I had a loser in CGC, and then he came out with a trade. CGC, I believe, over $49, something like that. And it looked right to me. And initially I said, yeah, I'm going to join you on this trade. And that could have been my revenge trade. I love the formation, but the problem is, once you take a trade and you lose, if you're trying to take the, the same trade for the same stock, the same symbol, for the second time, usually because it's, it's because you're looking for a revenge trade. And that's what I try not to do. So it took me a few minutes to wait for the trigger to come. I mean, it did move over 49. I, I announced in the trade room, I'm not going to take the trade because I'm afraid 
that the reason I'm taking this trade is because I'm trying to revenge my loss. I wasn't sure if I like the technical formation or I really just trying to revenge my trade. And that's why I decided not to join. So usually when you have a losing trade, don't take the second one. Do I do it ever once in a while? Yes, I do it ever once in a while. Ever once in a while I'm taking a revenge trade, as so you may say, but that's when it's very, very clear to me that when it's very, very clear to me that this is not a revenge trade, but this is very rare and I usually try not to take a revenge, a second trade in trade after a lost trade. So um, the thing is, you're never sure if you're taking it because you see a great technical formation or you're taking it because you want to revenge your loss. I, I, I wasn't sure, so I didn't take the trade in CGC, which did a very good because it moved up 50 cents. I think uh, Scott had a 40 cent partial, so I really enjoyed this one. But I wasn't sure whether I was getting into this trade um, because I, it, I was revenging it or because it was a good technical formation. What is the most uh, important skill you have as a trader? Tactical trader asks. Uh, discipline, undoubtedly, discipline. Discipline is the most important skill you need to develop. And it only comes in time because I can tell, I can definitely say that when I started out as a trader, I had absolutely no discipline. I thought I had. If I would ask uh, new traders whether they think that they are disciplined or not, most of them will say, yes, we think we are sufficiently disciplined. They would usually be wrong. I thought I was disciplined when I started out as a trader. It turns out to be I wasn't. I was absolutely not disciplined as a trader. It was, uh, it was really terrible. So I was uh, trying to, um, um, to become more and more disciplined in time. It's something that happens in time. You get more and more discipline and the only way to get more and more discipline is by getting a slap on your face every time you're making a, mis a mistake. Because if you are taking a trade that you shouldn't, if you are adding to a trade where you shouldn't, if you, are, if you do not respect your stop loss as you should, then you get to lose money. And when you get to lose money, you become more and more disciplined in time. So although most people think that they are sufficiently disciplined, they usually not, and it comes in time, and it's probably the most, the most important skill as a trader. There's more, of course. Knowledge is part of them and a lot of other things, but uh, uh, discipline is, is the most important thing. I'm moving to your next questions. You guys in YouTube, you can ask questions too. I see people are joining us in YouTube too, so if you guys like to ask a question, I didn't do that live till now on YouTube, so I don't know where I should look for the questions, but if you do, I think I'll see them. Uh, what else? What else? Any more questions coming up? Uh, do you use average true range at all? Uh, no, I don't. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, things um, um, that you can watch. There's a lot of different different um, uh, things that you can watch or put on your charts. I would, I, I rather have my charts uh, clean. I, I, the only thing I'm watching is usually uh, view up, volume, weight, average price. I do not use the average true range, but when I'm watching the chart, I should know what is the average true range. So I'm not ignoring it. It's very important. It's a very important thing to watch, uh, but there's other things that are important as well. But specifically, I do not watch anything else other than view up, and that is because I believe that I'm, 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 I'm skilled enough to do that. I do advise my new traders, uh, my new uh, students, to watch many, many more um, things um, as they trade. There's a lot of things that you should be watching, like moving averages and, and, and more. I personally don't watch them anymore. I don't need them anymore. Can you start with zero experience? I started with zero experience and I did very well. No, you can't. 
I didn't do well in my first year. I lost a lot of money during my first year. Well, not really too much, but I lost money during my first year because I started with zero experience. No, you shouldn't. Don't do the same mistake I did. There's a lot of people who are doing the same mistake over and over again. And that's why it is a well-known fact that less than 10% uh, are successful in trading. And that is mainly because most of them are starting with zero experience. So you shouldn't start with zero experience. There's a lot of to, there's a lot of things to know in trading, and trading is hard. Trading is, is is I don't know maybe the most the hardest job in the world. Not for me, not anymore. I'm very experienced in my opinion right now. I'm enjoying it, and it's for me it's quite easy. Not every day, but it's quite easy to to be a trader. But the, my first probably three years were hell, very hard. I mean, it's very excited, it's exciting, it's very interesting, but it's a hard job. Should you start doing something which is very, very hard with zero experience? No, you shouldn't. Get a lot of education. The more education you get before you click the first button, demo trading and so on, go ahead and do that. Anthony, good to see you here. Uh, do you make a watch list and trade from it exclusively? Uh, I do make. Uh, I showed earlier we were talking about my setup. All of these stuff that you're seeing here and some more over here are my watch list. So I'm not only making a watch list which is here. There's a watch list uh, by the symbol over here. But I'm also watching the ones I'm interested in in different charts. These are one minute charts and then I move them to five minutes later. But I'm starting with one minute charts and there's like, I don't know, maybe 12 different charts I'm watching. So absolutely, I'm watching a lot of charts here, but I do not watch them exclusively. So I'm in the trading room. There's um, maybe a more than 1,000 people joining us every day live and about 2,000 is coming and going. And there's a lot of stocks that are posted in my trading room every day. So I would say probably 50% of the stocks that I'm trading are coming from my trading room members. So those are the ones I'm starting my day. All of them are posted pre-market, pre-market, usually according to my top 20, but not only. And then I would add as uh, the trade day goes by uh, to more questions, more, more stocks that are being posted by my trading room members. And that would be probably 50% of the stocks I'm trading. How many hours do I trade? I, I, when I started out years ago, I was trading maybe four, five, six hours a day. I no longer do that. I usually trade one and a half hour every day. I'm okay with this. It's fun for me, but it's not fun for me to trade more than that at all. I don't like trading more than that. Yesterday I traded for maybe two hours, maybe more than that. And I was way over trading yesterday. Market or limit orders, I, you know, I'm trading CFD. I traded the equities for a long, long time. And when I was trading equities, until I think three years ago or so, I was only, only using limit orders. If you're trading regular US equities, you should be trading with limit orders. I'm trading CFDs. CFDs comes with unlimited liquidity and a maximum slippage of three cents. So I could use market orders because the maximum slippage is going to be three cents. Something you can only dream about if you're trading, if you're trading uh, equities. You can't even imagine how good it is to have a maximum slippage of three cents. And that depends on your, on your quantity because most of the time you get fees at uh, the bid and the ask. So you can definitely use market orders. They are faster. They are uh, much better to use. So I'm personally, when I move to CFDs, started using market orders. It makes much more sense in CFDs. And CFDs work just the same way as stocks, just that you don't really buy the stock itself. You're buying a contract for difference, which is, which is, what, pe which is what people do all around the world, not in the US. If you're in the US, you can do that too. Uh, we have that in our funded account program. You can join us and trade CFDs too. Uh, gamer have a question here. I'm preparing to take the challenge soon. Okay, any advice I should need to know to improve my chances? Um, for those of you who don't know, you can uh, go into our YouTube channel and you can take our trading challenge. The trading challenge is um, is a hard challenge. You you get a ten thousand dollar account, a demo account, of course, 
and you need to make $500 profit, it may sound easy, it's not, in five trading days. So you get five trading days to make $500 in profit. You can't lose more than $100 a day. You're not allowed to. That shows how disciplined you are. You can't lose more than $300 altogether and you need to make $500 uh, after commission. The commissions are very low, but after commission, after five trading days. Again, it may sound easy. You get a $10,000 account. It's not easy at all. But we do have approximately 20 winners every month. Approximately. I think last, last, last uh, month we had 30. I'm not sure. But it's, it's, getting, it's getting better and better. And they are all awarded our uh, intro program, which is a $500 program which you can buy now for 15% uh, discount uh, on our website, um, uh, Valentine's Day website, Valentine's Day uh, promotion. Uh, but usually it's a $500 program where you also are eligible, you get a $14,000 uh, refunded account so you can trade live. And it doesn't cost anything. I'm always getting the same questions again and again. Please don't ask me the, the following question. Does it cost anything? Do I have to provide my credit card details? Nobody's going to ask you your credit card, card details. Nobody's going to ask you to pay anything. You can just join, show us how good you are, and you will get a real life funded account and get 70% of the profit and education and everything. You'll get our $500 intro program. So the best advice I can give you, discipline. You will need a lot of discipline in this program because when you take the challenge, to lose not more than $100 a day, that's discipline. To lose not more than $300 altogether, that's discipline. To take only the, the trades that you, you believe are right for you, that's all discipline, discipline, discipline. If you are disciplined, you have a very good chance of uh, passing the challenge and get funded. And nobody's going to ask your credit card details, just going to pay you 70% of the profits if you, if you make money. No, I'm not based in London. I, we do have an office in London. I'm based in our, usually I'm based in, in, in Berlin, in, in my home in Berlin, not in our office in Berlin. Uh, right now I'm talking through to you from Caesarea, Israel, which is one of my homes. But no, I'm not based in London. We do have an office in London. Yeah, since she was not a revenge. Well, I, I was worried whether that was or wasn't a revenge trade of mine, but uh, when do you go from one minute chart to five minute charts? Uh, anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes, more like 30 minutes. So I start with one minute charts and that is because the system I'm using at the beginning of, of my trading day is based on one minute charts. Guys, you need to realize that every system has its own different needs. My system, the one I'm using mostly, gap downs at the first, or gap ups at the first few minutes, requires one minute candles because I may be taking my trade during the first five minutes. A lot of times I do. So it requires that. Yeah, thank you. I see trade and support answer that. Okay, sorry, but the last question I'm, I'm gonna take now, and that is because my wife has a birthday and dinner, birthday dinner is just downstairs and I promised her I'm going to be there in like three minutes from now. You signed up with TFS you, when you joined the program and you have some trouble on getting in and out trades. Ask your account manager. I'm trading the same platform as you do and I have absolutely no problems joining. So ask somebody, ask TradeNet support, which are here, ask the or account manager. You shouldn't have any trouble. I suggest move to market orders if you're not. Which orders are you using right now, if you don't mind sharing? But I don't think you should have any problems. I'm using this platform every day. And I see TradeNet support already answered you. Traders, uh, it was lovely being here with you. Uh, first time we do that on YouTube too, although we had some technical difficulties. Sorry for that you guys on YouTube, uh, we're going to probably get better next time. So just sorry. And I'm sorry I didn't answer all of your questions. I tried and it is my wife's dinner downstairs. So I don't want to 
Um, that, 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 that frightens me more than anything, being late. So, sorry. <laughs> Have to go. Have a great weekend. Uh, it was a very interesting trading week. Uh, don't forget to enjoy to join us. Uh, we do have um, we do have right now the Valentine's Day promotion, which is 15% less. Oh, if you want to take the challenge and dedicate five days of your precious time and get funded without investing a dime, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, we are here to help you. Uh, if you're on Instagram, go to our bio. You will find some uh, links over there. If you're on YouTube, you'll find plenty of them. Uh, so, again, thank you very much for being here with me today. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be here next week. So if, you, if I missed your question today, I'll be here next week. Thanks a lot, traders. Bye.